Hi, this is Mike Leahy from BookUp. In this video demonstration of the Chess Openings Wizard, I am going to show you how Chess Openings Wizard handles transpositions. And if you don't know what a transposition is, you soon will. First, I've got a book open, the demo book, and what I want for this demonstration is a brand new book with no positions in it. So I'll close that book and create a new ebook. And the book I want to create is from my French repertoire, so I will call it French. Once the French book is open, I will move it around and adjust the screen so you can see more of what I'm up to. First I'll shrink down the engine area, try to make the commentary as small as it can go. There we go. And make this area a little bit smaller still. Let's see if we can get it up there so you can see everything I'm working on. That looks good. Now, since this is the French and I play the French as black, I'd rather look at the diagram from black's point of view. To do that, I'll select Commands, and the very first option has, is checked, white at bottom. And if I click on it, it will uncheck it and put black at the bottom. The French defense is a defense for black after e4, where black plays e6. Normally, white plays d4 here, and then black, French players will play d5. And there are a number of ways the French defense can go. Uh, common is knight c3, which will get classical variations and allow me to play the win hour as black. And I could take that move back, and, and white could play knight d2, which is the Tarash variation of the French. And I'll take that move back. White can also play the advanced variation, by playing the e5. I'll take that one back. And he can also play the exchange variation by taking on d5. And you can see over here in the candidates that all these different moves are being recorded. So knight c3, knight d2, e5, e takes d5. We'll add one more. Sometimes white players will play bishop d3. This is not a very highly regarded move, and so what we'll do is we'll back up, and where bishop d3 is highlighted, we'll right click on that candidate bishop d3 and select question mark exclaim, which is the notation or the diacritic for a dubious move, and bishop d3 is marked like that. We can also put comments about this position. I'll type down here in the comment area by clicking in it first and say that this is my secret French preparation. Now I'll press the VCR rewind button to take me back to the starting position of chess. The only move it knows about in the starting position is e4, but that's about to change because I'm going to show it d4. And you might be wondering, what does this have to do with the French defense? Let's find out. I normally play d5 when I see, d, see white play d4. White can play e4 here. This offers a gambit pawn. This is known as the Black Mar Deemer Gambit. It is very tricky. Normally, black players would be very happy to take that pawn and see if they can survive. I'm going to take that move back, though, because I can see here that if I played e6, I would transpose to my French defense, which I already know really well. And maybe I'm not really prepared to play the Black Mar Deemer Gambit. As soon as I drop that pawn on e6, instantly, the candidates come up for the French defense. Knight c3, knight d2, e5, e takes d5, bishop d3, all the moves that we recorded before, and any notes that we recorded before. Also, there's a little T up here. This stands for transposition. What this means is even though we started with a queen pawn opening, it saw that this particular move order transposed into my French defense, which is normally arrived at after one e4, the king pawn opening. That's how Chess Openings Wizard handles transpositions. And why should you be excited? Because when you're studying chess openings, there are tons of transpositions, and they can trip you up. Chess Openings Wizard is going to find them all for you automatically as you put in moves. Now, of course, this is not going to happen in the free version of the program, but where you're actually able to put in moves and edit is with the express version and with the professional version. So that one caveat. But if you import PGN files into... Uh, the, even the free version, it will also point out all the transpositions automatically. Thanks for watching.